Imagine stepping through the corridors of time to find yourself in the bustling piazzas of Florence and Rome, cities pulsating with creativity and intellectual prowess. Witness the birth of awe-inspiring masterpieces like the Statue of David and the Sistine Chapel ceiling, observing Michelangelo as he defies the sands of time with each stroke of his brush and chisel. Welcome to Psych Insight, your go-to destination for viewing the world through the lens of psychology. Here we dissect the minds of the greatest figures in history, uncovering what made them tick. If you like this content, please subscribe, like and turn on notifications for upcoming videos. Now let's step back in time and discover the art and complex and deeply introspective character of Michelangelo, a man whose life was as richly textured as his art. Each stroke of his chisel, each line of his poetry, whispered tales of his inner world, his passions, his fears, and his relentless pursuit of perfection. But what were the forces that drove this man, this titan of the Renaissance, to pour his soul into stone and paint? What lay beneath the surface of Michelangelo, the artist? Join us as we delve into the life, art, and psychology of the enigmatic Michelangelo. Born in 1475 in the small town of Caprese, Italy, Michelangelo's journey began. His early life was marked by an ardent passion for the arts, in spite of his family's initial resistance. His father, Lodovico di Leonardo Buonarroti Simoni, a minor official with noble roots, had envisioned a future in the family business for Michelangelo. However, the young Michelangelo had other plans. His early fascination with art was stirred by the frescoes in the local church and the inspiring landscapes of Tuscany. At the age of 13, Michelangelo was sent to the workshop of the painter Domenico Ghirlandaio, one of the most highly esteemed artists of the time. Under Ghirlandaio's tutelage, he nurtured his artistic talents, learning the techniques of fresco and panel painting, as well as the art of drawing. But it was the influential patronage of Lorenzo de' Medici, the de facto ruler of the Florentine Republic, that truly set the stage for Michelangelo's artistic development. Invited into the Medici household, he was exposed to the works of classical antiquity, the intellectual stirrings of the Medici circle, and the works of luminaries like Donatello and Ghiberti. Here, Michelangelo's love for sculpture was kindled as he began to experiment with marble, creating his first works, the Madonna of the Stairs and Battle of the Centaurs. These early experiences shaped Michelangelo's artistic vision and honed his skills. His deep reverence for classical forms and his keen observation of the human body would become defining elements of his work. At the same time, his interactions with the Medici circle introduced him to Neo-Platonism, a philosophy that saw the physical world as a reflection of the divine. This philosophical underpinning would later infuse his works with a spiritual depth and complexity that was unprecedented in his time. Michelangelo's early life was a crucible of influences and experiences, a period of intense learning and experimentation. His family, his mentors, the Medici circle, and the classical works he admired, all played a crucial role in his artistic development. These formative years laid the foundation for Michelangelo's extraordinary career. The path to greatness is seldom smooth, and for Michelangelo, it was no different. Michelangelo's journey to prominence was marked by trials and triumphs. As a young artist, he grappled with the challenges of his craft, but his relentless dedication began to shape his destiny. Hailing from a family of modest means, his passion for art was often met with disapproval. Nevertheless, he pursued his dreams undeterred. Early in his career, Michelangelo's talent was recognized by Lorenzo de' Medici, the de facto ruler of the Florentine Republic. Lorenzo's discerning eye saw something special in the young Michelangelo, and he invited him to live in his palace. This was a turning point in Michelangelo's life, as it gave him access to the artistic and intellectual elite of Florence. Even with this esteemed patronage, Michelangelo was not immune to hardship. His life was fraught with struggles, from financial constraints to artistic rivalries. However, these challenges didn't deter him. Instead, they fueled his resolve to create and innovate. Michelangelo's first significant works, the Madonna of the Stairs and the Battle of the Centaurs, showcased his remarkable ability to depict complex emotions and physicality. These early pieces captured the attention of the art world, earning him praise and recognition. 
His ability to blend beauty with raw emotion was truly revolutionary, and it set him apart from his contemporaries. His detailed and lifelike sculptures began to redefine the boundaries of art. His work was a testament to his belief that a sculptor's job was not to create, but to reveal the figures already living within the stone. This philosophy, coupled with his extraordinary talent, propelled him to the forefront of the Italian Renaissance. In the face of adversity, Michelangelo's resilience, determination and unparalleled skill led him to prominence. His journey from a humble background to becoming one of the most revered artists of his time was nothing short of extraordinary. His talent was undeniable and soon Michelangelo found himself in the limelight. The Sistine Chapel, David Pieta, the names echo through the corridors of art history. Michelangelo's masterpieces are not just works of art, they are grand statements that have shaped the course of artistic expression. They are the epitome of his genius, his relentless pursuit of perfection, and his unique understanding of human nature and emotion. Take, for instance, the Sistine Chapel. The ceiling of this historic chapel is a testament to Michelangelo's vision and tenacity. It is a vast canvas where biblical stories come alive with stunning realism. The creation of Adam, where God and man reach for each other, their fingers nearly touching, is an image that has captivated the world. Here, Michelangelo uses his art to explore profound themes of divine creation and human potential. Then, there is David. Carved from a single block of marble, this statue stands as a symbol of strength and youthful beauty. It is a masterclass in the depiction of the human form, capturing an exquisite balance between physical prowess and inner resolve. The detail, the proportions, the expressiveness, all bear the unmistakable stamp of Michelangelo's genius. And who can forget Pieta? This sculpture of Mary holding the lifeless body of Jesus is a poignant exploration of love, loss and sacrifice. Michelangelo's ability to imbue stone with such deep emotion is nothing short of miraculous. The grace and serenity of Mary contrasted with the tragedy of her situation is a powerful illustration of Michelangelo's understanding of the human condition. These masterpieces were not just expressions of Michelangelo's artistic talent. They were reflections of his inner world. Each stroke, each chisel mark, each carefully rendered detail was a piece of Michelangelo himself. They were his thoughts, his emotions, his beliefs made tangible in stone and paint. These works not only established Michelangelo as a master artist, but also revealed glimpses into his psyche. What hidden depths of mind and soul could produce such profound art? This is the question we find ourselves asking when we contemplate the works of Michelangelo. Many psychologists and art historians have attempted to delve into the psyche of this Renaissance master, using his art as a mirror to reflect his inner world. While we must tread carefully in these speculative waters, Certain themes do emerge that suggest a complex and deeply emotional character. One of the most common theories revolves around Michelangelo's possible inner conflicts. These are often seen in his works, which exhibit a struggle between the spiritual and the earthly, the divine and the human. For instance, his statue of David, poised in a moment of intense contemplation, portrays a human figure grappling with a divine challenge. His frescoes in the Sistine Chapel too are rife with images of physical struggle and spiritual yearning, suggesting a man who wrestled with reconciling his earthly desires with his spiritual beliefs. Some scholars suggest that these themes may reflect Michelangelo's own internal battles, perhaps related to his devout Catholicism and his speculated homosexuality. Another theory explores the motivations behind Michelangelo's art. Some posit that he was driven by a deep sense of perfectionism, a relentless pursuit of excellence that often led to dissatisfaction with his own work. This is evident in his tendency to leave works unfinished, perhaps a sign of his never-ending quest for perfection. Lastly, the emotional depth of Michelangelo's work is undeniable. His sculptures, in particular, exhibit an extraordinary ability to capture human emotion in stone, from the serene tranquility of the Pieta to the agonized despair of the dying slave. This suggests a man who was deeply in touch with his own emotions and able to express them in a way that resonates with us centuries later. The art of Michelangelo offers a window into a complex and deeply emotional psyche. While we can never fully understand the man behind the masterpieces, these theories offer some insight into the mind of one of history's greatest artists. As the sunset of his life approached, Michelangelo's artistry did not wane. In his later years, Michelangelo, the luminary of the High Renaissance, 
continued to create and inspire, a testament to his unwavering dedication to his craft. Age did not diminish his passion, nor did it dull his ability to create masterpieces that would echo through the corridors of time. His later works, though marked by the maturity of his style, were no less profound or impactful than the creations of his youth. His late-life masterpieces include the hauntingly beautiful Pieta Rondanini, a sculpture he worked on until the final days of his life. The unfinished statue, in its rough-hewn beauty, speaks volumes about the artist's unending quest for perfection. It's as if Michelangelo was communicating his own mortality and the transient nature of life through his art. In his twilight years, Michelangelo also took on the role of an architect, designing the iconic St. Peter's Basilica Dome, a marvel of engineering and a testament to his multidimensional genius. His architectural designs would go on to influence generations of architects, leaving a lasting mark on the landscape of Italian architecture. It is impossible to overstate the impact Michelangelo had on the art world. He was not merely an artist, but a pioneer, a visionary who dared to push the boundaries of what was considered possible in art. He inspired countless generations of artists who looked upon his works with awe and sought to emulate his mastery. His legacy is not just in the magnificent sculptures, paintings and architectural designs he left behind, but also in the profound influence he had on the Renaissance and subsequent art movements. Michelangelo's enduring impact is evident in the way we perceive and appreciate art today. His life serves as a reminder that age is but a number and creativity knows no bounds. His tireless pursuit of artistic excellence, even in the face of advancing age, is a testament to his unwavering passion and dedication. Even in his twilight years, Michelangelo left an indelible mark on the world of art. So, what can we take away from the life, art and psychology of Michelangelo? Michelangelo, a man of his time and yet timeless, was not just an artist, but a personification of the human spirit's boundless capacity to create, to express, to feel. His life was a testament to the power of passion and perseverance, as he rose from humble beginnings to the pinnacle of artistic renown. His story teaches us that, with dedication, even the most challenging obstacles can be transformed into stepping stones towards greatness. His art, be it the majestic David or the awe-inspiring Sistine Chapel, transcends the confines of time and space. It is a vivid reflection of his inner world, a world filled with tumultuous emotions, deep introspection and an unquenchable thirst for beauty. Michelangelo's masterpieces showcase the sublime potential of human creativity, the ability to bring to life forms and figures that echo the divine. And then there's his psychology. Michelangelo, the man behind the art, was as complex as the sculptures he carved and the frescoes he painted. His struggles with mental health, his moments of self-doubt and despair, his intense relationships all paint a picture of a deeply sensitive and introspective individual. His life reminds us that even the greatest among us are human, with all the vulnerabilities and complexities that come with it. But perhaps the most profound takeaway is the intersection of Michelangelo's art and psychology. His creations were not just products of his skill, but reflections of his mind, his emotions, his experiences. They were his means of grappling with his inner demons, of making sense of the world around him, of expressing his deepest desires and fears. I hope you enjoyed our time traveling through the era of Michelangelo. His story is a testament to the power of human creativity, the beauty of living art and the depths of the human psyche. His legacy continues to inspire, provoke and remind us of the incredible potential within each one of us. Until next time, keep your sense of wonder and keep learning.